श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम हम आर वी लीडिंग द स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ इन द राइट स्पिरिट हाउ डू वी नो हुम वी विल आस्क एज रिगार्ड्स वी आर कंसर्न वी आर द बेस्ट वी आर नॉट लाइक अदर्स बट इफ यू लुक विद इन सिंसियरली हाउ डू वी नो whether we are walking the spiritual path in the right direction so one of the symptoms are when we are all alone with ourselves we don't have a sense of loneliness if a sense of loneliness crops up in our mind then we are far away from the truth sense of loneliness demands association with so many things and that is because we are taking ourselves to be the body and therefore limited and therefore fear and therefore we want some support therefore we hold on to some support whether we want a mala in the hand or we want some buds in the ears keep on listening to something just expose yourself to solitude ekante rahasya sthita and during that small short period of seclusion find out what is the condition of the mind and you will discover that if the condition is very miserable then we require a lot of work and if the condition is okay we are not disturbed we are not dependent then it is better so how to achieve this so this has to be achieved in many ways once i was told by a great mahatma which he told me and as a as an ideal disciple i did not do it who is a disciple who doesn't listen to the guru is a disciple and who is a devotee to whom the guru listens these are very practical definitions so that is what is my tragedy i have to listen to everybody you go to somebody's house now you take this good god no no sorry you don't, don't take that it is not good for you so i thought it is coming it's going back <laughs> i'm waiting tragedy so i was told that uh, go to some unknown uh, temple where nobody knows you then they don't put on very nice posh clothes put on rags and go to the um, pandit ji or the pujari of that temple and give him 100 rupees straight away and tell him that i am going to sit outside the temple please don't push me out so he will agree because you already paid him 100 rupees. and then sit there and watch your own mind so many people are coming and going all kinds of people come that time don't watch the people who has come who has gone namaste hari om hello no no nothing live there like a unclaimed garbage and watch your own mind then you will understand what is the meaning of spiritual practice 
therefore this is extremely important principle swayameva eka veeraha agre swayameva prapusruta we are all alone without the sense of loneliness no company no dependence on things and beings and स्वस्वे स्वयं स्वस्थ स जीवन मुक्त उच्चते सो ही हू इज दस एट होम विथ हिम सेल्फ बिकॉज नाउ ही इज अबाइडिंग इन द सेल्फ नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बींग होम विथ वन सेल्फ इट इज समथिंग लाइक एज द वॉटर इज एट होम वेदर इट इज ए वेव और ए ओशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉटर बींग एट होम in these two conditions it means when the wave when the what waves are born water is not born when the waves are crushed and died the water doesn't die when the ocean is quiet the water is not quiet and when the ocean is agitated what is not agitated that is some kind of glimpses of the truth therefore swasvarupe swayam sapset sa jeevan mukta uchchate now when such a person has been living now the symptoms start appearing surface also which are those brahma bhuta prasanna atma brahma nanda maya sukhi swachcha roopo maha mauni वैदे ही मुक्त सो अप टू दिस थर्टी थर्ड सेकेंड वर्स वी हैव सीन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द जीवन मुक्त एंड ऑल्सो द विदेह मुक्त वी हैव सीन अप टू हियर अबाउट जीवन मुक्त नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विदेह मुक्त विदेह मुक्त मीन्स वॉट ऑल दो फॉर द पब्लिक इट अपियर्स ही इज लिविंग in the body as the body but from his standpoint he is far beyond the limitations of the body identification so who is this person or the mahatma brahma bhuta brahma bhuta he has merged in the absolute but he is fully available in the relative the complete uh experience includes two things one is the truth is simultaneously immanent and transcendental to the relative world now what is the meaning of immanent and transcendental the water is immanent in the ocean and the waves but the water is simultaneously transcendental to the ocean and waves what does it mean again the question it means the standpoint has changed now earlier when the water was taking itself as a wave so there was a competition jealousy fighting success and failures that was a big issue for every wave then the second step the wave was no more looking at the fellow waves but now looking at the ocean so what will be this vision the vision will be the waves will not compete or be jealous or fight with the ocean that with the status of surrender now the third vision what will be the experience of the ocean towards the waves samoham sarva bhuteshu name dvesho sti na priya from the ocean's point of view there is nothing like good and bad waves and ultimately the last vision e the vision of the videha mukta from the water's point of view what is the position of the ocean waves and their relationship 
from the waves and the ocean point of view, the relationship is waves are the effect, ocean is the cause. From the water's point of view, neither the ocean is the cause nor the waves are the effect. So water has transcended the cause and effect status. But the same water, although has transcended the cause and effect status, yet it is immanent in the cause and effect. In the same manner, the wise man, Jideha Mukta, is very much beyond the limitations of the Jagra, Sapna, Sushupti, Samadhi, and yet he is immanently present in and through all the experiences of life. And this is what is explained in Bhagavad Gita so many places. For example, in the second chapter, Bhagavan describes such a wise man, Videha Mukta. Dukkechu anudvigna manaha, sukechu vigata spruhaha, vita raga bhaya krodha, chita dhirmani uchchate. Yes, miseries come. He does experience the miseries, but he doesn't become miserable. He definitely is enjoying the comforts, but he is not enslaved by the comforts. See the difference? And the reason he is told toward the end of the same chapter, Yanisha Sarva Bhutanam Tasyam Jagarti Sayyami. This wise man is awakened to that absolute to which the average ignorant are sleeping and this wise man is sleeping to the relative world to which the ignorant people take it as the real. This is the meaning Brahma Bhutaha simultaneously imminent and yet transcendent to this world. Now, language why we are understood and the concept why but how, how we are not able to understand. So work on it. What exactly it could be? So one or two examples I'll give. When we are playing with the children, something like cricket or uh, badminton or tennis or table tennis, anything, or carom or chess, in the US, there was one child extremely good in chess and he wanted to play with me. So he wanted to have the um, feel that I have defeated somebody. But he didn't know me how great I am. So when we used to play, I will have my own Indian Yuga technology. And as a result, he was defeated. The Swamiji, you defeated me. Next time I'll defeat you. I said, okay. Now I did not do any technique. So I was defeated. So when I got defeated, I was not feeling bad about it. And when I won the wrong way, I was not feeling guilty about it. Because I know it's a just time pass. There's nothing to be serious about. But for the child, it was a real thing. So although I was playing, yet I was not playing. So I was playing imminent. And therefore, success and failure, victory and defeat is equal, therefore transcendental. Therefore, spiritual life doesn't mean we have a swollen face and one corner. The other day I told you one story. One only like me, and a grandson, they went to a nice lake and the child was full of life. He carried something to be fed to the fish and sitting there and he put his feet in the waters and flashing and playing. An old man looking around, why I am still alive like that. So when the child was playing, throwing the eatables in the waters, fish will come and they fight and he was enjoying. So the old man say, my dear child, this is all. 
not going to be like this. One day we all have to go. We'll all have to die. So the child said, uh, Dadaji, one day only we have to die. Rest of the days we can live. How important it is. We are dying every day. Are Ekadin to Jindaro? When I was a child, I was dying to become a teenager. When I was a teenager, I was dying to become a college goer. When I was in the college, I was dying to get a good job. When I got a job, I was dying to get married. When I got married, I was dying to get the children. When I got children, I was dying to get them educated. When they got educated, I was dying to get them married. They got married. By the time I became 65, then I realized, Are yaar, I never lived. <laughs> Constantly dying, dying, dying. See, therefore we must be very clear, spiritual life is not a punishment. Many people have that funny notion. And this is particularly with the Vaishnavas. See? Don't do this, don't do Don't touch here, don't touch here. In the temple, you cannot go. The Krishna's temple. You, from outside only you can throw, you know. No, no, no. Go to our Bhole Baba's temple. No problem. Anybody can go and put anything. Nobody bothers. Even he doesn't bother. Because he is not receiving anything transcendental. See, friend, that is what is meant, Brahma Bhutaha. Now, such a person will be Prasannatma. Prasannatma means living at zero complaint level. No complaints. Whatever it is, perfectly all right, no problem, no problem. One of my friends in Delhi, anything you talk to him, first sentence by default comes from him. No problem. Anything you tell him. See? Means this attitude is so much demanding. Without this attitude, life becomes miserable. So, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Now, these two words also are reflected in Bhagavad Gita. In the 18th chapter. Bhagavan says there, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Sna Shochati Nakangshati Samaha Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Lavate Param. See? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Now Prasannatma is immediately defined by Bhagavan Krishna. Na Shochati Na Kangshati. Na Shochati Na Kangshati means what? Neither he is carrying the burden of the regrets of the past, nor he is concerned and worried about the problems of the future. Whenever you are not in the present, you cannot be happy. To be happy, you have to be in the present. Those who are happy now, they are always happy. Those who are happy after marriage, they can never be happy. See, marriage actually is a mirage. And we try. To be happy by getting the things, forget about it. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Na Shochati Na Kangshati. And when you start living in the present, it is so effortless. Recognize this principle. See, this also we have done a number of times. Just go back 287 days behind at 6 o'clock. What did you eat? So you keep on counting. Last. Or if we ask you, after 139 days, where will you be in the afternoon 3.30? Struggle. To be here, no thinking. Those who think, they are not here. Those who are here, they don't think. Go ahead. 
those who think, they cannot laugh. Those who laugh, they don't think. Try to think and laugh. Okay, let me think. You cannot. Just observe this day to day. See, friends. And children, you look at them, they are not thinking. Therefore, they are happy anywhere they go. And they can start playing with anything. Simply climbing the steps or jumping down is enough for them to be happy. And we hold it. Don't do that. You may get a fracture. Sorry. Let me enjoy. Therefore, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, then Brahma Ananda Maya Sukhi, Brahma Ananda Maya. Brahma Ananda Maya means he is bliss, he is not borrowed, it is not conditioned. In Ananda Maya Kosha, a deep sleep, it is a conditioned happiness. Only during the deep sleep, Ananda Maya Kosha is fully manifest. In waking and the dream, Ananda Maya Kosha is manifest only when something happens and you are happy for a moment. See, it is not a continuous one because it is conditioned. Brahmananda Maya means unconditioned bliss. Therefore, such a great master is not concerned about anything plus or minus and therefore Sukhi. Sukhi means he is at peace with himself. It's so important. With this change in the vision, then you look at the world. When a happy person has to talk, his expressions will be different. And if a miserable person has to talk, his expressions will be different. Therefore, Satcha Rupaha Mahamauni. Satcha Rupa is pure, immaculate. What is inside is outside. There is no hypocrisy. Because he doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. As much we are at home with ourselves. Suppose I get a khujli somewhere. So I don't feel awkward. You are khujlao kaise. Pit kya kaegi? No. Any body part wants to touch any body part. There is no hypocrisy. No. It is natural. Because there is no sense of otherness. Although hands and legs are others. But there is no sense of otherness. See friends. And then only the life becomes natural. But our condition is we try to prove. Goody, 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 goody. And these goody goody characters are very dangerous. See? We relax. We don't have to prove anything to anybody. This also story I told you. One British lady told me, Swamiji, I want to be like you. Always cheerful, happy, never tired. What I should do? I said, you cannot be happy like me. The reason is, you don't have beard. Length of the beard is directly proportionate to the happiness. And suppose the beard is half doubtful happiness. <laughs> and if there is no beard, no possibility of happiness. No, no, please stay. I said, look here. You know your story, what is your story? Whole life you have been struggling to prove something to someone. You are not living yourself. You want to prove something to someone. Alas, you don't know what you want to prove and to whom and who cares for you. You will see within ourselves only how many of us suffer only because of this stupid thing. Look kya kayenge. What people will say. Many years before, for the first time, when I was going to US, so there was one uh, girl and uh, she was helping me and all that. And she says, Swamiji, I want to tell you something. Don't mind. I said, I don't care also. What mind? You say anything. I 
actually you know when you are going to usa uh, you are going in this kind of lungi and shirt and your kadao why don't you put on nice pant you look very handsome you are very nice figure i am telling those days jaane ka pagal so nicely put on pant shirt and all that you know and lovely and you can go like that and put on some shoes what is this people will be looking at you what people will say log kya kahenge i said look here exactly this is i want people should look at me see and that is the reason we are abnormal even you go in the market nobody looks at you but when we go <laughs> See, this is the only way to be happy in life. Look, kya? I don't bother about the world. कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे. Life becomes natural. Therefore, such a rupaha. We don't have to prove anything to anybody. Then Mahamouni. That means there are two types of mauni. One is chota mauni and maha mauni, like Mahatma and C H Atma. So who is the maha mauni? First principle we have to know very clearly. Mauna is the discipline of the mind. It is not the discipline of the speech. But most of the people you must say many Mahatmas they have these funny things. They are of the Maharaj is in Maunam. He will never talk for ten days. But then, how does he conduct himself? He talks at night. So, what they will do? They will be writing on the paper. So, get a cup of tea for me. The servant gets it. Chini bhul gaya kya? And I talk, yeah. What is this? You talk. There is nothing wrong in that. These are the cartoons. Upanishad says, "Gira monam hi bala nam." Those who are babies, they do all these things. This is the puttu. I am not going to say. So these are the cutty type of uh, mona. The real mona is when you do not talk to yourself. But to others, yes, you talk. You know this principle I learned in Calcutta. One person came to meet me, and I was staying on the first floor. So he got down from the taxi, and he will not talk to taxi fellow. Taxi fellow is asking, "Give me money." He will not talk. I'm just tired. So he said, "What to do with this man? He is not talking. Maru kya?" Then he indicated. I want to go there. So he taxi fellow came with me up there, and he said, "Maharaj, Bengali, Maharaj, ये कौन कार्टून है आपके पास? बोलता ही नहीं." So I said, uh, "As he paid, no, I want only my payment. That also is not paying. So I paid him. And next day, then he said, 'Swami ji.'" I was observing Mauna. I said, "Now why are you talking? I don't want you to talk. Continue, Mauna." Hey, friends, these two extremes. Some people cannot stop talking. If they are Gujaratis and ladies, gone. <laughs> you see, anywhere this group. The other day, I was uh, going uh, from. From Delhi to Varanasi, and that was the time of Kumbh Mela. So many Gujarati ladies were there. Inside the plane, I thought I have come to Ahmedabad. <laughs> Non-stop, go 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 go, and there was the opening the dhokla and distributor on the railway compartment. <laughs> See. 
he constantly talking. These two extremes, either don't talk or no, no, no. When there is a need, definitely talk. But to yourself, you stop talking. Mahamouni. And Vaidehi Mukta Eva Saha. He is a Vaidehi. He has transcended the limitations of the body, although he is functioning through the body. Sarvatma, Samarupatma, Shuddhatma, Tu Ahamutthitaha, Eka Varjita, Ekatma, Sarvatma, Swatma Matraka. Each and every word is so deep. Sarvatma, Sarvatma means what? Take an example. I am one. When I am talking, I am a speaker. When I am walking, I am a walker, not a journey walker. I am a walker. <laughs> so when I am holding something, I am a holder. So this one alone is everywhere. Exactly Sarvatma, there is but one reality expressing in and through everything and being. Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atman Nevanu Pashati Sarva Bhutastam Atmanam Na Tato Vijugupsate. He who is able to see both ways, transcendental and evident. He who is able to recognize his presence in and through everyone, and he who recognizes all in him. Na Tato Vijugupsate, he transcends the negativities of the mind called as hatred or disliking. For such a master, there is nothing that he likes or he dislikes. It is our own imagination we project. This also I learned many, many years before. I wrote to some Mahatma. Sir, I do not like your that behavior that day. And because of that, I was very disturbed for last six months. And I could not take it anymore. And therefore, I am writing you. Why did you do like that? Then I got a reply. I am extremely happy to receive your letter and congratulations that you are progressing spiritually. Mm. What progress? God knows. Then, second line. In due time, you will come to know that we see the world what we have decided to see and not the what the world is. In Sanskrit, there is a saying, Papi Sarvatra Papam Ashankate. See? A sinful, thoughtful person always sees only the bad points. He can never see something good. Therefore, here, Sarvatma, Samarupatma, for him there is nothing like somebody's mind and somebody's not mind. Shuddhatma, because he is immaculate, pure, no impurities of desires, no impurities of likes and dislikes, no impurities of uh, I versus you. Shuddhatma and Tu uh, Ahamutthitaha, and thus he has gone beyond the notion of this small little I. He is no more there. That means he has no more ego and therefore he has nothing to talk about his past nor he has to talk about his future. See friends, it is so important. Therefore anybody has to do anything in this world. This can happen under the following conditions. Number one, the world is taken as real. Then only you want to do something for this world. See? And the second thing, that you have the capacity to do something good to the world. Upar wala so hai kya? Bhagavan clearly tells, Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutha nama dharmasya tadat manam surjanmyam. When there is a need, I will come. You relax. But what happens? We want to take possession and change the world because the world is bad. Why the world is bad? It is not fitting in our definition. Never try to change anybody or anything in this world if you have to serve or keep away. 
there are four types of expressions as a spiritual seeker. Number one, respect and reverence for the elders. An elder could be anybody. Somebody is age-wise old, somebody is wealth-wise old, somebody is power-wise old, somebody is foolish-wise old. Respect them. Those who are our contemporaries, love them. Be friendly. And those who are younger than us, be forgiving. It's okay. Don't make any issue out of small little things. And the most important, those elements because of whom your mind is getting disturbed again and again, run away. See, you have to very clearly understand this. It is something like uh, the chemistries don't match. Like we all have some of the problems. Like uh, if I take milk continuously for two, three days, my whole body gets upset. So I have nothing against the milk. But then I know it doesn't suit me. So why not keep away? No, what the milk will feel? Let it feel. You know, you are not here to please everybody. God has failed to please everybody, is it not? Can we please everybody? No. Protect yourself. See? Therefore, um, Sarvatma, Samarupatma, Shuddhatma, Tu Ahamuddita. And this, this also comes. Many times we have got this notion, I have hurt somebody. You cannot hurt anybody, you need not hurt anybody, everybody is self-sufficient. Otherwise, your whole life will be miserable. And then, ek varjita ek atma. Now, see how beautiful it is. Ek varjita ek atma. It is that one which is not one. What is this? That one which is not one. Ek varjita ek atma. What is the one which is not one? The infinite. There are two types of oneness. One type of one is the one which is followed by two, which can be multiplied by two, which can be divided by two. There is another type of one, which is neither followed by two, nor multiplied by two, nor divided by two. And that one is the infinite. This is the meaning. Uh, ek varjata ek atma and therefore sarvatma. Like the space is the essence of all the four elements. Without the space, nothing can exist. And where the space is in the mind. What is the mind expression of the consciousness? Therefore, where is the whole world in the consciousness? In this manner, ek varjata ek atma swatma matra kaha. And although including everything and yet, like I told you, like the ocean, in the water includes everything. All the oceans, waves, clouds, rivers, everything is included and yet it is not influenced by any one of them. It has never become many. Ajatma, Chamratatma, Ham, Swaya, Mahatmyam, Avyaha, Lakshatma, Lalitatma, Ham, Trishni, Atma, Swabhavavan. Now, this Vaidehi Purush is explaining as if about himself. Ajatma, Cha, Amritatma, Ham, I am unborn, immortal self. When we were listening to the words, we were there. When the words stopped, we are there. When again the words came, we are there. Whether the words are there or not, we are eternally present. It cannot be taught. It is direct personal experience.
and the best part is this is not an achievement when the river reaches the ocean is it an achievement see friends therefore ajatma chamratatma ham i am unborn and immortal because we never have experience of birth nor do we have the experience of death this one particular thing which i have been repeating 100 times work on this the moment you get disturbed frustrated immediately find out who is disturbed who is frustrated then you will come to know gaunatma is frustrated and miserable Now what is the Gaunatma? Gaunatma is born after the Mithyatma is born. Now what is Mithyatma? Mithyatma is when the body identification happens, then I take myself to be the body, that is Mithyatma. See how many Atmi are there? Mukhyatma, Mithyatma and then Gaunatma. Then who is miserable? it is only the gaunatma the mother father brother sister husband wife all rubbish fellows they are miserable see body is never miserable body has a pain be very attentive body is never miserable body makes us miserable because body is just inert all experiences happen only in the mind see when they give us local anesthesia when you go to the dentist they take the long long needles and put in your mouth while looking at itself you feel my god what they are going to do and afterwards when the anesthesia sets in then they take the hammer and did a thak because mind is not allowed to enter there that area has gone in meditation and after the meditation is over they oh 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 then they say okay take pain killer and i go again in meditation therefore the bottom line is all experiences happen only in the mind therefore ajatma chamratatmaham स्वयं स्वयं आत्मा अहम अव्यय देन हु एम आई आई एम द वन हु इज ऑल बाय इट सेल्फ विदाउट बर्थ एंड डेथ विदाउट एनी मॉडिफिकेशन विदाउट एनी चेंज थॉट्स कैन नॉट इरप्ट विदाउट द सीड ऑफ समबडी दिस आल्सो वी हैव डन हंड्रेड टाइम्स you cannot think without a reference a reference is necessary to start your thinking and this we have to observe day to day suppose somebody is telling something he yeah, i got a reference like i was telling the driver in the afternoon i was going by a taxi somewhere so all the bam 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 taxi is going on so he asked me um, where are you from so i said i am from up i am from up ke hai na i can smell the people now <laughs> gujarati up bihari very happy यूपी के कहा के वाराणसी वाराणसी के बिकेम वेरी क्लोज एंड देन ही सेट सी हाउ मच पीपल आर हॉकिंग कॉन्स्टेंटलीट फॉर मी टू टेल बिकॉज रेफरेंस हॉकिंग इमीडिएटली जस्ट नाउ बिफोर कमिंग इयर आई वॉज फॉर अबाउट वन वीक इन बैंकॉक for one week i was traveling everywhere morning lecture evening lecture going for lunch here going for outing seeing this seeing that 
whole day I used to be busy in the car and moving. For seven days I moved incessantly. Not once I have heard a honking. Now, what we have to learn? His reference was honking. Now, I caught that reference. I started talking. My experience about honking, is it necessary? So we have to learn that thoughts begin when you get some kind of reference point. And the reference point is whatever we have given importance to. So that driver has given importance to honking. I also give importance to that. Naturally, the talk begins. In this manner, when we are able to learn that all the thoughts begin in us with reference to the Gaunatma, Mithyatma. When you come to the Mukhyatma, Absolute Self, no thought can ever come. Now, this experience of our being is not influenced by the thoughts. If it is influenced by the thoughts, then we are getting lost in prakriti, in matter. You see many places, they give too much importance to the silence. Keep silence, keep silence. In one temple in Tirundamalai, Shiva's temple, beautiful. When I was standing in the courtyard, some angrejs came there and uh, he saw children were playing, running around, shouting, somebody was eating, every kind of thing going on. So he asked me, he said, why these people are shouting and running? I said, you ask them, I am not shouting, I am not running. And I am not uh, you know, supposed to know why, what others are doing. No, uh, this is the temple, it should be calm and quiet. I kept quiet. He said, see our churches, how calm and quiet they are. But why in your temples is so much of noise? I said, you go to church. We didn't invite you. We don't want to convert you into Hinduism. We have got sufficient problem of our own. You don't want to invite. No, but why? What is the reason? I said, I'll tell you, but you will not like it. And I told him further, look here. When I tell you something, after that, this topic is over. We are not going to discuss further. I agree? He said, I agree. I said, here in our temple, God, all happiness. Therefore, wherever there is happiness, there is a noise. When you go to a graveyard, can there be somebody happy? Your churches are graveyard. When somebody is hanging there, how can we be happy? Do you mean, I said, you are discussing. Stop here now. I don't want to discuss here. The moment you get any reference point, your mind will start thinking. And the reference point begins only after body identification. See, friends. Therefore, Lakshatma, Lalitatmaham. So I am the ultimate one and Lalitatmaham. I am sporting in this world of relativity without getting influenced by any one of them. Bhagavan Shankara therefore says, <coughs> Yogarato va, Bhogarato va, Sangarato va, Sangavihina. Yasya Brahmani Ramati Chittam, Nandati Nandati Nandati. It is not being becoming very serious or becoming a licentious. No. Many times we take this licentiousness as freedom. When the freedom is guarded, then only it is a culture. If the freedom is not guarded, then it is licentiousness. Therefore, Lakshatma, Lalitatma, Ham, Tushni, Tushnim, Atma, Svabhavavan. Therefore, Tushni, I am totally content. 
and therefore I am quiet. If you have to do anything in this world, you cannot be at peace. Push me. We have to achieve nothing in this world. We have to go nowhere. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. With this as the foundation, play the game of life. Na buddhi bhedam janet ajnanam karma sanginam joshe sarva karmani vidvan yukta samacharan. Third chapter of Bhagavan says, the wise man, although abiding in the absolute, he should not behave among the ignorant as a wise man. It is a folly to be a wise among the fools. Among the fools, be a fool. So, Joshe Sarva Karmani Vidwan Yukta Samachara. But then he should demonstrate how in the relative world also we can achieve perfection. If you see all the great masters, they have not worked on a different time scale. For them also, the same um, time scale, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 30 days a month, 365 days a year, they didn't have one day 48 hours, one week 15 days, one month 100 hour days. No, same time scale. Take the reported work of Swami Vivekananda. Reported. Unreported, we don't know. What a huge work. How this is possible? So, when we read, study the life stories of such great masters, we get motivated that it is possible. Therefore, this very important principle, don't get carried away by the stories of the gods. This I learned again from your children. When I told some story about Bhagavan Krishna and the child told very clearly, what is great about it? Bhagavan Krishna lifted a mountain in a small finger. He is a God. He can do anything. Then you tell something what we can do. So what we can do? Read the life stories of the great masters. How they have come up in the same world where you and me are now. In this manner, Joshe Sarva Karmani Vidwan Yukta Samacharan. Do not separate out yourself as distinct from others. Be commoner than the commonest. We should not be a black sheep in a white flock. Otherwise, wherever we go, there is a problem. Oh God, Agai. Then the whole problem begins. Deho. Maharaj Yaga, don't go in that room. He will become angry. And don't make any noise. And in their own house, the children are as if in the prison. See? I remember in South Africa, for the first time, I was staying with somebody. And whosoever has given information to my host, oh, Swami is very disciplined. Oh, he doesn't like a kachra here and there. He has very clean habits and all that. And all of them had Tremendous tension and pressure on them. Some bhut is coming in the house. Brahma bhut. <laughs> so, when I went there, I was so tired, I had I wanted a cup of tea. So, keeping the bag, somebody kept the bag, I straight away went in the kitchen. Now, after having moved so many houses, I can know in what kitchen where is what, without telling. So I immediately started the kettle for heating the water and took out the tea bags and put them and had and they were all stunned watching. That you know, Arati thing and the mala thing in their hand and all that was watching. You see. And I was doing very and after that I sat down, aha, maja gaya. I said, Amma, koi biscuit nahi hai kya? They were Swamiji. You have taken with your own hand. I said, not only that, I am drinking with my own mouth, okay? <laughs> not your mouth. All the tension that they had built up immediately collapsed. 
वी आर रिलैक्स नाउ आई सेट डोंट रिलैक्स टू मच गेट मी बिस्किट डोंट बिकम एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी इन दिस वर्ल्ड रिमेन ऑर्डिनरी दैट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड अ रियल स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस देर फोर लक्ष्य आत्मा ललित आत्मा हम तुष्णिम आत्म स्वभाववान एंड बी वॉट यू आर डोंट ट्राई टू प्रिटेन वॉट यू आर नॉट निर्द्वंद नित्य सत्वस्थ निर्योग क्षेम आत्मवान भगवान कृष्ण से इन सेकंड चैप्टर टू अर्जुन इन दिस मैनर आनंदात्मा प्रियो हात्मा मोक्षात्मा बंधवर्जिता ब्रह्म वाहम चिदे वाहम एवं वापि न चिंत्यते नौ सी आफ्टर हैविंग टोल्ड दिस नाउ द टीचर इज गोइंग फर्दर आनंदात्मा प्रिय हि आत्मा मोक्षात्मा बंधवर्जिता ब्रह्म एव अहम चिद एव अहम वापि न चिंत्यते ही डजन थिंक दैट अहम ब्रह्मास्मी मालूम है कि अहम ब्रह्मास्मी छोटे बोले बात हो नो न चिंत्यते डू वी चिंत डू द चिंतन आई एम ए मैन आई एम नॉट ए वुमन डोंट यू सी दियर्ड आई एम ए मैन अरे दे आर रियली बाय गॉड आई टेल यू आई एम ए मैन who has asked you that you are not a man scriptures never tell us that you are a sinner scriptures never tell us that you are a body therefore we come to this experience thereafter once you abide in the truth then all the chintan all the struggle am brahmasmi am brahmasmi disappears see and am brahmasmi is also not a japa but it is the reflection on that what it is like being aham brahmasmi see the thought process will dissolve like when the eyes start looking at themselves the vision disappears when the mind starts focusing its attention on its own source mind is dissolved in the consciousness having experienced this once in a lifetime there is no further possibility of fall see therefore brahma vivam chidevaham evo api na chintate chinmatrene vayatishten vaidehi mukta eva saha so he who is thus existing 24/7 as your consciousness alone he is a vaidehi mukta videha mukta nischayam cha parityajya aham brahmeti nischayam ananda bariswanta vaidehi mukta eva nischayam cha parityajya now he has given up all the notion no notion now this is one of the most important thing in our vedanta shastra in all other things there is only a notion replacement one notion is replaced with others but vedanta helps us erase all the notions and be free from the notional existence it is not replacement of the notion that earlier i was very bad now i am good earlier i was drinking uh, whiskey now i drink dudu no there is no replacement of the notions we are all carrying the burden of notional existence see friends i am man i am woman i am rich i am poor i am educated not educated married not married these are all notions but our being is not a notion it is a experience see therefore nischayam cha parityajya aham brahmeti nischayam ananda bhariswantah <coughs> and therefore he is at peace with himself swantaha ananda at peace peace itself is ananda ashantasya kuta sukham see happiness and being peace with oneself god realization abiding in the truth and self realization all words are different but they indicate the same thing sarvam asti ti nasti ti nischayam tejyatishtati aham brahmatmi nasmi ti satchidananda matra kaha 
Now from here we go little different way. Sarvam astiti nastiti nishcem tejjayaha tishtati. Everything that we recognize in this world is always in two ways. One is something is and something is not. Don't we say it about somebody, hey, you are very conspicuous by your absence in that gathering. So we have known that person by his absence. So we know the things in two ways, either present or absent, asti, nasti. But this option is not applicable to ourselves. We cannot have the option, I am, I am or I am not. When I am not option is not there, is it necessary to say that I am? And therefore here it is said, Sarvam Astiti Nasti Nishchitya Tej. All that is cognized by us, in these two options, like when waking is, dream is not. When dream is, deep sleep is not. When deep sleep is, <coughs> samadhi is not. When samadhi is, waking, dream, deep sleep is not. They are mutually exclusive. They can be one at a time. But this option is not available to us. Because we cannot have the experience of our absence. And therefore there is no need to assert Aham Brahmasmi. See? And therefore it is a Aham Brahmasmi Nasmiti. So whether I am Brahma or not, it has no meaning. See friends. Then Satchidananda Matra Kaha, only conscious blissful existence. In his composition, Amrutanubha, Sandha Ganeshwar writes, even these three words, Satchidananda, these are abuses implanted on the truth. Asti Sat Chit Ananda. Sat is said to deny the Asat. Because what is our experience? Our experience is always in the purview of is and is not. And therefore, to deny the possibility of absence, Sat is indicated. <coughs> then Chit. To deny the possibility of inertness, Chit is in, included in the word. And Ananda. To deny the possibility of finitude, the Ananda, Ananda is indicated. And therefore, Satchit Ananda is only a negative definition of the truth. The truth is not absent, therefore sat. The truth is not inert, therefore chit. The truth is not finite, therefore ananda or ananda. See, this is called as atad vyavrikti rupena. We are rejecting what it is not. And in this manner when this asat, achit and the dukkha, anananda, when these three things are rejected, thereafter we don't have to say again, I am. And therefore, Mauna Vyakya Prakritta Para Brahma Tattvam Yuvanam. Why the wise people cannot have the ego? Only because they are unable to talk. What can I talk? I am or I am not. They are confused. See? Therefore, Tam Brahma Asmi Nasmiti Satchidananda Matrakaha. Then, Kinchit kvachicca kadachicca atmanam na sprashatyasau tushnim evam tushnim sita tushnim tushnim satyam na kinchana. Kinchit kvachit kadachicca atmanam na sprashati asau. He is never confused about whether he is the body or whether he is the prana, whether he is the mind, whether he is the intellect, whether he is somebody. He is never confused. Na sprashati. There is no doubt whatsoever. Now find out about what we don't have any doubt. We don't have any doubt about our being. Take this as a takeaway today. 
that about which we have no doubt is our essential nature. Then we will come to know we have no doubt about our being. This doubt free experience, be attentive, it is not knowledge. Knowledge is gathered through the sense organs, mind and the intellect. Sense organs gather the knowledge about objects. Mind gathers the knowledge about joy and sorrows. Intellect gathers knowledge about the concepts. We are neither the object, nor joy, sorrows, nor concept. Then it is only experience. Therefore, it is Atma Bodha. It is not Atma Jnana. And that is what is mentioned here. Kinchit kvajit kadachitcha Atma Numnas Prashati Asam. Never, never, anywhere, under any condition, he has no confusion about his being. Whether I am a man or a woman, whether I am a papi or a punyatma, whether I am a jiva or a solkari, no doubt, no question, no doubt. And therefore, tushti meva, therefore he is at peace with it. This is one very important spiritual practice. We don't have to prove and satisfy everybody in this world. Many of us suffer only because of this. We try to uh, satisfy everybody. Remember, God has failed. We cannot. But that is what we do and suffer. One example I have given you about this. One lady, she must be now her wrong side of the 40. <clears throat> she told me, I have done so much for my uh, sisters and brother because our father died earlier. I got them educated, I got them married, all of them. Now I am 40 plus and all that. When I go to their house, they tell us clearly, Didi, please don't come to our house. They don't like. If you want to meet us, please call me in some restaurant. We'll come and meet there, but not at our home. And they said, I mean, I have done so much for them. Why this is happening? I said, if I am in their place, I will do the same thing. Remember one beautiful thing. Whatever we are doing, it is our need. Nobody needs us in this world. When we are not in this world, there are nothing lacking, my friends. But ahankara vimudhatma karta amiti vanyate. And then we say, I have done so much for him. Who asked me? See, friends. Therefore, tushni meva sat siddhas tushnim, tushnim satyam na kinchana. So this ultimate contentment, what Bhagavad Gita calls as the um, Kruta Krutyata, Etar Buddha Buddhiman Sat, Kruta Krutyascha Bharata. This Kruta Krutyata, the fulfillment, is the ultimate attainment by this Vedehi Purusha. Continuing this thought, we will continue. for another two days. Today is fifth day or sixth day? Fifth. So suffer two days more. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnahat Purnamudachat Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om